Returning to our stage, P. Kathleen. Good evening. I am such a total dork, and I am so nervous that I left my poems at home, so I'm reading them off my phone. Here we go. This one is called, I am a moving train. I am a moving train. Be careful if you're jumping on, because I am a moving train. I have many destinations yet to go, and I carry people, things, and ideas far down the track. I have so far to go, and I never rest. My engineer is ruthless in his quest. I am a moving train, and over the tracks I bleed, leaving flattened pennies forgotten by children's whimsy. I am a moving train. I will carry you along with the sheer momentum of my destiny. And as you ride, walking along my corridors, supping in my dining car, just don't forget I am a moving train. I have many cars carrying many things, baggage and people. Some leave theirs behind and I carry it along until I can dump it somewhere but it's left its mark on me, even though I am a moving train. I'm a moving train and I cannot stop, so beware. Even if you apply the brakes, it takes miles for me to slow. So be warned, once I'm committed to a direction, my full focus will be on getting there. So slamming on the brakes just might derail me and the so-called collateral damage will be widespread and devastating because I am a moving train and nothing stops me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This next one is called Death Seems Sweet. This is the good part the part where you have the softest skin, the part where you stumble over words and laugh at the purity of it. This is the part where the smell of him in intoxicates to the point of wetness, when not hearing his voice for 24 hours means you don't notice if the sun is out or not. This is the part we all live for, the part where you see everything, everything, just looking into his eyes and feeling his lips pressed against yours. This is the best part, the part before the first fight, the first hurt look, before the first stubborn silence shatters the illusion that sprung out of the ether between you. This is primordial infatuation, chemistry that locks you down into a state that should require quarantine. A state that blinds you to wedding bands on ring fingers, innocent children who know nothing of the storm coming, and good advice from true friends. This is the part where you meet in whatever spaces you both fit in, whether a park, the back of his truck, your bed, or his couch in her living room. This is a love that will not be denied, but is framed with denial. It is automatic and yet carefully planned, meticulously executed, and strategically justified. This is your hero. Your raw lust carried over from the high school daydream 25 year years later realized, now volatile, explosive, and unstoppable. Circumstances make no difference. Morality doesn't even have the voice of a mosquito with the deafening roar of the blood pumping through every fiber of your being, screaming his name with every beat of my heart. Fear is almost an afterthought once you walk in the door and see his eyes again, his hands, arms around you, breathing, dissolving, connected, alive. And knowing the cure after this desecration will be utter destruction, death. Seems sweet. Thank you. 
one more, sh well, yeah, one more short one. This one is called All I Have. It'll be my last one. How is it that I taste you and want the whole bottle? I meet you, and it's always me that falls first, except this time. And you, you, you beat me to the punch, knocked out. You lay me out like an exquisite evening gown, like a banquet fit for a king, queen, and all their court. You go through me like a shock wave from a nuclear blast, like an avalanche, and I'll never be the same. I will never be the same. And you're not holding back, unafraid, both feet planted on the ground, and yet you dive into the depths of me, unhinging my dark places, fumbling around in my corner, sweeping away my dust, and I'm caught up in your maelstrom. Your tears cleanse my soul and make me whole. If this is your role, I'll play it to the end. My last and only true love, bend me inside out. Your absence is my Achilles. Heal me. It's all I have ever wanted. Yours. <laughs> <laughs>